Hey what's up guys, it's Darkroom Duels and today we're doing some Gaia the Fierce Night Test Stands. So I'm really excited this for you guys because this was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Tyler. And I'm really excited this for you guys because Tyler and I actually collaborated together to build this deck. It's really amazing to actually be able to collaborate with my patrons and build all sorts of amazing decks. And this deck is super cool. It basically OTKs your opponent by summoning out some really big dragon champion monsters and just goes in for for the OTK. It's actually tradition for me and Tyler to duel with Gaia the Fierce Knight whenever we duel, and he's actually currently 4 and 0, oh, which is a really amazing thing. Right now, he is the Dragon Champion. I really love the way this deck plays, and it is a really fun deck to play around with. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name in the description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your patron along with test hands. And definitely give Tyler some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So I'm really excited to show you guys this deck because this deck is a super cool OTK based deck that fusion summons into Gaia, the magical knight of dragons and sky galloping Gaia very, very, very easily. And just OTKs your opponent really easily. I really love the way that the deck plays because it's very simplistic in what it's trying to do. Just summoning out your copy of your dragon champion or two dragon champions to your side of the field to just go in for game. There's some really amazing text that actually Tyler suggested for this deck and it's just some really, really smart text. I really love the text that he actually suggested and you guys are going to definitely see those in these test hands. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first test hand. I will say this deck does a a lot better in my opinion going second but it can go first very easily with some of the techs that are included in this particular build so let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first test hand so we're going to draw into a copy of the curse of dragon fire a copy of gaia the magical knight of dragons monster reborn spiral fusion which is already really good and a book of eclipse book of eclipse is actually tyler's suggestion for this and i love this card in this deck i didn't realize how good this card was in here until he actually did it against me and otk'd me and if you guys are unfamiliar with what this card actually does it actually has the ability to change all face up monsters on the field into face down defense position and then during the end phase of this turn you change as many face down defense position monsters that your opponent controls as possible to face up defense position and then your opponent draws cards equal to the number of monsters changed to face up defense by this effect that's a really good effect because it can otk very very easily which is really cool so just to show you guys if you were going first all you would basically do with this hand is normal summon out your copy of your gaia and and then the guy will actually let you summon out to your side of the field a copy of your curse of dragon fire so at this point you can use the copy of the curse of dragon fire to fusion summon but the better way to actually pull that off is to go into your copy of spiral fusion which will let these two monsters fuse to summon out either a copy of the gaia the magical knight of dragons which gets you multiple pops or you can use it to go in your copy of your sky galloping gaia the dragon champion it depends on which one you want to go for for the certain situations if you're going second this card is really good because it'll add the spiral spear strike which lets you do piercing damage and draw cards and it will also let you go in for additional plays but i like to go for the copy of guy the magical knight of dragons because this card can pop cards so i'm actually going to summon that one which is just really good. You can also use the copy of Monster Reborn to revive stuff, but this card actually has double attack, which we're just gonna put this dice here just to represent that for you guys. And then you can just set the Book of Eclipse and pass to the opponent. You don't have to do anything else with this particular hand. There's nothing else you really need to do because it's just as going to get those cards out to your side of the field by using a dragon and a copy of Gaia. As long as you can get to a copy of the Gaia and the dragon in a fusion spell, you're gonna be fine in this particular hand. So we're Gonna keep this card in our hand as a play for later so during our opponent's turn this card actually has a neat effect that during the main phase quick effect you can target one other card on the field and this card loses exactly 2600 and if it does destroy them destroy that card which is a pretty good effect just to be able to pop a card but you can only use each of this card's effects once per turn so it is a disruption where it can actually pop a card so you can actually get rid of a counter on this card to be able to pop a card which will actually go back down to 26 and if your opponent continues to swarm you you can 
can actually go in for the copy of Book of Eclipse, flipping every face up monster face down. And the really neat thing about this particular tech is if this card does drop down to zero, you can actually flip it face down and then flip summon it during your turn and we'll go right back up to 26, which is pretty good. If we did draw in going second, you would draw into a copy of Call by the Grave, which just basically would have protected us from being uh, hand trapped, which is a pretty good thing. But at the same time, we didn't really search at all. So there wasn't really room for them to you know actually use that so if i was going second however i would not have summoned this card i would have actually summoned out the copy of sky galloping guy and got that search to be able to flip all my opponent's monsters face down and then be able to go in for game with a copy of Sky Galloping Gaia because you can do some really simplistic plays. I'll show you guys really quickly what we would have done if we would have gone second though. So we're actually gonna take a little bit of a backtrack because we didn't do all that many crazy plays. So this was our opening hand and we were going to draw into a copy of Call by the Grave. If we're going second, you're going to immediately drop the copy of the Book of Eclipse. Now if our opponent has two monsters that can be flipped into face down defense, we're probably going to OTK them. So we're gonna activate the copy of Book of Eclipse, flip all of our monsters, flip all of their monsters into face down defense position and then we're going to proceed to spiral fusion to go with both of these monsters you can just normal summon and then special summon and then fusion summon these two cards which is going to let us go into that card you don't even have to normal summon you can just go in with these cards because you're not getting the curse of dragon the curse dragon of curses um of the cursed land you know uh we don't even have to use that card to be able to go in for all of these cards we're just going to be able to go in for the sky galloping gaia the dragon champion so we're going to go ahead and summon this card to our side of the field and once we do we're going to add that copy of the spiral spear strike to our hand at this point you could actually call by the grave them because if they do actually try to ash that you can call by the grave it then you can use this card the spiral spear strike and this card has the ability that when a guy of the fierce knight swift guy of the fierce knight or guy of the dragon champion on your side of the field attacks the defense position monster it does piercing damage and if a guy of the dragon champion inflicts battle damage you get to draw two cards and then discard a card so we're going to be able to actually attack twice and this card has double damage which is sitting at 52 and that's really good because the spiral fusion actually will double the attack of the monster increase it by 2600 and can attack up to two monsters each battle phase so this card has two attacks and it's at 52 so you can attack once and twice and then they otk um, you can use the copy of monster reborn as well if you want to to bring back that copy of the gaia the magical knight which is a pretty good play to actually bring that card back to your side of the field if you do need it which is a little bit helpful to be able to just bring this card back to your side of the field to otk if you do need the extra push so let's go ahead into the next one and see what we can do because that's pretty much the simplistic plays of what you're doing if you're going second you summon this card if you're going first you summon out the other one the copy of the magical knight because you can get pops that's basically the simple play going first you never want to summon this card going second this card is really good because it gives you pops but if you're going second and you know you can otk and you already have the sky the copy of spiral spear strike you can actually summon this card to your field and it'll go up every time it destroys a monster by 26, boosting it all the way up to like 78 on the second attack, which is pretty good for a piercing damage monster. It's basically like the damage of a Chaos Max, which is really crazy. So it's like 200 points off because Chaos Max does double piercing. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for the next one. As you guys can see, this deck does OTK really easily. I really love that about this deck and it's super easy to be able to pull off those plays so let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next one so we're going to draw into a copy of pot of extravagance a copy of the curse of dragon the cursed dragon of curses cursed land i know it's not but it's really funny all the curses they put in that we're going to draw into a copy of terraforming uh, gateway to chaos and a copy of the curse of dragon fire and you're probably thinking oh no we don't have the gaia but it's okay you have the copy of the Pot of Extravagance. So the really important thing about this is we don't hit all the Gaias. If you hit all the Gaias, you're in a bad spot because if you hit all six, which is very unlikely, you don't have any plays left, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it can happen. It is not out of the possibilities. So let's go ahead and see what we hit for this. We're going to go ahead and give it a quick shuffle after that, and we're going to see. We're going to go three, and we're going to go six, and we're going to immediately see what we actually hit, which is a Millenniumize. We're already fine. We got a Link Rebo, another Link Rebo, another Link Rebo, and then one of each of the Sky, uh, one of each of the Dragon Champions, so we're fine. 
that's totally fine. We're actually going to get a draw two now. And we have a search too. So we're going to go ahead and draw two right here. And this is a really good hand because at this point you can activate gateway to chaos. And then once you activate that gateway to chaos, you're then going to add from your deck to your hand, the copy of the uh, Gaia the Magical Knight because this card is actually a Gaia the Fierce Knight monster because this card is always treated as Gaia the Fierce Knight card so you can just immediately grab it from your deck to your hand. Now at this point you can activate that copy of Terraforming if you want to you don't have to you can save it um, but I'm going to go ahead and activate that copy of Sky Galloping Gaia over the copy of the Gateway to Chaos or the copy of Galloping Gaia because this card is really good because you can actually use it to reveal a copy of say the Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon in your hand to be able to grab another copy of Gaia, which is pretty good because then you have multiple fusion summons that you can do on the next turn if you do need it. So we're gonna go ahead and summon out now our copy of the Gaia onto our side of the field because we have all of these really good monsters. We're gonna go ahead and normal summon out that copy of Gaia the Magical Knight, special summon out that copy of Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. And we're going to use its effect to actually search from our deck the copy of the Spiral Fusion. And then you can actually activate that Spiral Fusion in your hand. And once you activate that Spiral Fusion in the hand, you can then use these two monsters on your field to go in for the copy of the Sky Galloping Gaia if you're going first, or the copy of the Gaia, or excuse me, if you're going second, and the copy of Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons if you're going uh, first. It depends on which situation you have. If you have the copy of the Book of Eclipse, I usually like to go for this so I can get that piercing damage. If I don't, I like to go for this one to actually go in for those extra damage plays. So I'm actually going to summon out the copy of the Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons, because I can always get the other one out during the next turn. At this point, you can activate the copy of Terraforming if you want to, or you can use it next turn to kind of bait Ash Blossoms if you need to. So we're going to go ahead and add from our deck to our hand a copy of Gateway to chaos just to be able to grab another card from our deck that is going to be that last Gaia monster so now that we have this field you're basically going to pass you don't need to do anything else you have this really big monster on the field that has double attack points and you can pass you don't have to do anything at all this card actually will get us a pop which is pretty good you don't need all those negates because even if your opponent destroys our field we can still do all sorts of crazy stuff to bring it back and go in for other plays so this card let's just say that our opponent outs this card on our side of the field we did get a pop on their side of the field and we draw for turn which we're going to draw into another copy of the curse of dragon which at this point you can do it a little bit differently you can reveal the gaia if you want to or you can do it in reverse where you reveal the curse of dragon to add either a gaia or a curse of dragon whichever one you want it doesn't super matter i would actually add the copy of the curse of dragon just because i know i can get the copy of gaia off the copy of gateway so you can then activate gateway at this point, I really wish I had another fusion spell because I like a copy of Ultra Polymerization because I could double fuse at that point. But we're going to go ahead and use that Gateway to Chaos to be able to grab from our deck to our hand a copy of the Gaia the Magical Knight. And then you can do a simple play where you actually normal summon this card out to your side of the field. And then once you normal summon it out, you can special summon it. You guys might also be wondering, wait a minute, if you're unfamiliar with the deck, this card actually can normal summon itself out to your side of the field if you control no monsters or if your opponent controls a monster with 2300 or more attack. You can just instantly normal summon it to your field. That's how we're actually getting it out. I didn't explain that to begin with, but that is how you actually get it. So at this point, you can actually use the copy of the Curse of Dragon, which you guys are unfamiliar with that card's effect that if this card is normal or special summon, you can add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand that specifically lists Gaia the Dragon Champion in its text, which is a pretty good effect. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Gaia the Dragon Champion control and negate the effects of face-up monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to that card until the end phase, which is pretty good because you can actually use it on the Spiral Fusion. If you're going second, you can actually negate the attack of all monsters that have like 20... Um, 20 uh, or 52 or less, which is pretty good uh, if you use Spiral Fusion. So we're going to use Spiral Fusion right now. We're actually going to use that to be able to Fusion Summon in for a copy of our Sky Galloping Gaia. And we're going to search from the deck a copy of our uh, copy of the Spiral Spear Strike which is really good for this deck because now we can do piercing damage and when we do battle we get to draw two and discard a card so we're going to do battle and then we're going to be able to draw two and we're going to discard any card from our hand that is really good that we drew into that because we can do piercing damage you can actually activate this mid battle phase so if you attack into a link monster with this you can attack again because it can attack twice because it can have the spiral fusion 
So we're going to go ahead and now we're going to discard the copy of the Artillery Catapult Turtle because we don't super need that card. And we're going to go ahead and once we attack, we can use the copy of the Book of Eclipse, like a Book of Moon, if you want to, to be able to, but it will flip this card face down in a situation that you might need. You don't have to, but then we can swing again if you need to. And at that point, you can basically pass if you want to. So let's go ahead and go into another one and see what we can do. As you guys can see, this deck is very consistent in what it's trying to do. You're just trying to get out at least a Gaia Fusion every single turn. Um, and I can't wait to see if they actually give this deck more support because this deck is really fun and it's really good. I don't even know what they would give us. Maybe another Gaia monster would be really nice. Um, maybe one that can actually special summon itself would be kind of neat to actually have that and be able to search us a Curse of Dragon or one of our field spells like the Galloping Gaia. Like maybe a Chaos Gaia would be kind of neat. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next one we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can pull off so we're gonna go ahead and cut it and see what we can do so we're gonna go ahead and draw we're gonna draw into another pot of extravagance a copy of spiral fusion and artillery catapult turtle if we can get into a Gaia we're fine galloping Gaia that's pretty good and a copy of the curse of dragonfire so we're gonna go ahead and use that copy of the pot of extravagance I'm gonna go ahead and pile shuffle one more time that extra deck just to make sure that we don't hit all of the Gaias, because that would be really bad. We got really good mills the first time, but as you guys saw, we hit three Link Rebos, which has happened to me when I hit all three of a certain Gaia that I really needed and lost duels with that, which was unfortunate. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can pull off. We're going to go ahead and do that right there. And we're going to actually hit a Alligator Swords Dragon, two copies of Sky Galloping Gaia, and a copy of Link Reba. That made me really nervous because I hit two and I thought the third one was behind it. But we actually didn't, so we're okay. So we're going to go ahead and draw two, and we're going to draw into a copy of Spiral Spear Strike and Ultra Polymerization. That's pretty good. So at this point, you can go into two fusions with this particular play. And this was also another suggestion by Tyler. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate the copy of the Galloping Gaia. Reveal in our hand the copy of the Curse of Dragonfire. And once you reveal that card in your hand, you're going to get to grab from the deck a copy of the Magical Gaia. Now, we, once we grab the copy of Magical Gaia, we can actually normal summon him out to our side of the field, special summon out this card, and then use Ultra Polymerization instead to summon out a copy of the Sky Galloping Gaia, because we can get a second copy of the Spiral Spear Strike to do draw four and discard two instead. Now, once we do that, the Ultra Polymerization will actually bring back both of our monsters to our side of the field, but they are at zero attack points. But since we have the Spiral Fusion, it's totally okay. Now, the copy of the Sky Galloping Gaia will let us search the deck for a copy of a Spiral Spear Strike, which is pretty good. So we're going to grab that card from our deck to our hand, shuffle up the deck, and once we shuffle up the deck, we're then going to activate our copy of Spiral Fusion and Fusion Summon both of these monsters away again to summon our Magical Gaia to our side of the field, which is pretty good because once you get that card on your side of the field, this card is going to be doubled and this card is just sitting at 26, but you have both of these Spiral Spear Strikes that you can activate and you'll actually get to draw four. Um, that's pretty crazy. I really like that because it's a lot of draw power um, that you actually get off the Spiral Spear Strike. So if you're going second, you can attack with this and draw four off the top and then discard two, which you could hit the Terraforming and the copy of Set Rotation and you get these two, which would be pretty cool. Um, I really like that effect. But at that point, we're going to pass against the opponent and we're going to draw for turn because they're going to pass back to us and we're going to activate, we're going to add a Gateway to Chaos, which is not too bad to get the gateway to chaos but it's not going to be super helpful at this point but you can go ahead and normal summon out the copy of the artillery catapult turtle actually this will be helpful so we're actually going to normal summon the artillery catapult turtle and this is kind of a neat play you can actually tribute this card to special summon out a copy of the curse of dragon of the cursed dragon and you or you can summon out a copy of the curse of dragon fire to your side of the field because it doesn't negate the effects it just special summons them to your side of the field and at that point you can activate the copy of the gateway to chaos and this card is actually a walking polymerization um, but you have to use cards on, you have to use one for turning fusion summon a fusion monster, you're actually using monsters, you're, oh, it has to be you control. Okay, so we're actually going to have to do this a little bit differently. You can't actually do that. So we're actually going to back up a little bit. You're going to tribute this, and we're going to summon out to our side of the field the Curse of Dragon of Cursed Dragons. 
And this card has the ability, its card is normal or special summon. You can add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand that specifically lists Gaia. So we're going to go ahead and activate that card effect. And we're going to add from our deck to our hand another card that is treated or as Gaia in its name. And we're going to add a copy of Spiral Fusion. And then at this point, you can actually activate that copy of the Gateway. And then you'll be able to grab another copy of Gaia from deck. And then at that point, you can then fusion summon both of these cards together. And then we'll go in for a copy of our dragon champion, which is pretty good. The magical guy. And this card will be double attack as well, which is pretty neat. I really like that field. We actually got three of them out, which is really cool. So I think that's going to do it for the test hands for this one, guys. This deck is a really awesome deck. It's really awesome the way that you can go in for all of those dragon champions, and they're really easy to summon. They are OTK machines, and I really love the retrains of all the cards. It's one of my favorite nostalgic decks from the original series, especially being able to use Gaia and Curse of Dragon. I really like how they they made them into one archetype and even including catapult turtle which is just super cool i love this card in this deck it's a super neat card especially for this particular build if you guys would like to check out the deck profile it is down in the description down below if you guys would like to check that out but don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on there so you can come part notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys